on but like all right well thanks guys for coming i know it's a busy time of year we've got a small group here hopefully we get some people online too chiming in yeah um all right so we'll start with our thank yous because i think everybody in the room here knows each other i think we're all pretty good yeah so all right so thank you to courtney wozniak for creating the awesome december birthday board love the snowman um, thank you to all of our families that donated their time and or food for the teacher appreciation dinner last month. I think I hear the staff genuinely appreciated that, even though it wasn't the whole staff that was here. Everyone who was here for conferences yes. definitely enjoyed it. Yes, they did. They so always, always, they always oh my gosh, they always appreciate it. Um, <laughs> thank you to Rebecca Taylor for working on that conference night to sell spirit sticks. Um, and to Trish Tembush for organizing the book fair and putting in the extra hours also on conference night. Um, and thank you to all the parents that volunteered to help the students make their selections at the book fair. And then thank you to all of the fourth grade students that participated in the yearbook cover art contest um, and to everyone that voted to support the, um, the five creative and talented finalists. I think we had some good options this year to vote we for. Did. That was awesome. Um, and then thank you to Ree and to Amy McKenna for helping to make the contest a success. I think you did pretty well on it. So, um, so that's great. Um, let's see, upcoming important dates. Obviously, Santa Shop is going on right now. Tomorrow's the last day to shop. Um, are you going into withdrawals maybe? I, it has <laughs> been so bizarre. It's like an out-of-body <laughs> this, this much has been a relief, uh -huh. but this much, I you feel I, like something's missing. I miss it. I really do. It was my baby. You're signed up tomorrow. Aren't you? I will be there tomorrow. Mm -hmm. for, yes. All right. for an hour. <laughs> oh, time. time to go live. Yeah, no. The holiday emoji gram sale, um, the spirit stick sale is going on through the end of the week. Those will be delivered next week. Next Tuesday is the teacher cookie walk. Yay. And we've got a long That's list dead. already of people signed up <laughs> to bring in those donations. Um, let's see it. Obviously, holiday break from December, January, December 20th to January 1st. We're back up to school on the second. Then we have another short break, um, January 18 to 21, uh, for students. Anyways, I I don't know if those are both for one no. of them is MLK. Yeah. One is a district PD, and then one is a a day off for MLK. yeah, okay. a records day or something like that. Um, then January 22nd to February 8th will be the yearbook and happy ad sales. And we will talk more about that later. Um, January 25th is the family dance party. We'll talk about that. And that night we'll also kick off our book drive to benefit the um, summer um, reading library. And then um, our date to be determined, but probably sometime in February, Mariah will be ladies night out and we'll talk about that too. Um, Friday, February 22nd, no school. And then Sue's Creation, March 1st. It's already on our radar. <laughs> all right so future meeting dates are there alternating thursdays and wednesdays um same reminders as usual and uh, call to the public does anybody have anything that's not on the agenda scheduled for discussion i'm trying to think there might be you know i just remembered something else we we gave linda the custodian left a couple weeks ago and as a pto we agreed and voted to, to give her a little thank you gift mm -hmm. as a farewell so we did just fyi we did. yeah i think we all kind of missed linda already <laughs> yeah everybody cried oh. <laughs> did she retire yeah yeah she cried she we cried <laughs> i don't know there was a, there I'm was sure a lot of emotion every day that yeah. she's not here. <laughs> there was a lot of emotion. Still yeah. Yeah, probably. Probably. <laughs> All right. Um, thank you for reminding me about that. I forgot. Um, and then one thing that's not on the agenda that um, Trish Tembush gave me is box tops. Um, this Friday is the last day to turn in box tops for the current incentive. Um, the class with the most box tops turned in, turned in wins PJ Day and Hot Cocoa Day. Uh, Mrs. Griffin's class is in the lead currently. Mm -hmm. We'll be receiving a check, by the way, for nine hundred forty-six bucks um, wow. this sometime this month for all the box tops turned in <coughs> in the spring and this fall. Right? So just to get it twice money. a year, we get a check That's from incredible. them. Yeah. yeah. So nine hundred forty-six bucks, almost a thousand dollars in crazy. box tops. It's crazy. Yeah, awesome. it's, uh, I love it. Puts us over. I was just gonna say a thank you to the. Uh, no, I was just gonna say I think puts that puts us over our budget already. So. 
Nice. Eight. And we'll still yeah. get another check in the spring, right? Oh, we're at, we, we budgeted for 1000 so. Okay. So we're just about there. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I was just going to say just another big thank you to all the families that donated DVDs for Children's Hospital oh. in Michigan at Heron Valley Sinai. Mm -hmm. Just, it's been a wonderful addition to our library there. So awesome. thank you. Awesome. Do we have a date for <laughs> spirit wear delivery? Um, yes. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, yeah. Actually, um, she said though it'll be delivered on Friday. She said thank you to nice. everyone this who ordered this Friday. coming Friday. Okay. Yep. She was going to pick it up sometime earlier this week okay. or sometime this week so that she could get it all together and delivered on Friday. Cool. So you should see those coming home on Friday in backpack mail or however. Um, let's see. Let me see if I had any other notes here. All right. Dottie. Um, again, thank you for the... Um, food at parent teacher conferences. It was really appreciated. It always is. We're super excited about cookie walk. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's kind of my favorite thing. <laughs> I, I pass those out every year. It's homemade. It's so awesome. <laughs> they are Nobody they needs are. You know. I know. They just don't need to know that I didn't. Right. That's okay. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, I wanted to let everybody know that Round presents at the January board meeting which is the 14th of January. Um, we're going to present on um, student assessment for learning, how students are assessing mm -hmm. their own learning and setting goals. It's kind of been an initiative for a while. Thank you for the Chromebooks. We ordered a touchscreen Chromebook cart based on the Fun Run sales that's been ordered. It's on its way, so we're very excited to see how that impact student learning. That's how many parts can you see in there? That will give us six total in the building. And what's really exciting about that is in the spring, in May, we test now K-4. So technically with six parts, all of third grade and all of fourth grade can test at the same time, Wonderful. which is really powerful because it reduces how much time we have to spend, how many weeks we have to actually spend testing. Well, and you would think for IT, too, because they send a support person on yes. site when you're doing the testing. So if they can be here for six classes doing it instead of two weeks for three classes each right. week, then it, it helps with their yeah. schedule, too. So it is going to really help mm -hmm. reduce how much time our kids are actually slotted for testing. And we're hoping that the touch screens help our kindergartners be a little more efficient because <laughs> sometimes the actual testing on the computer is more challenging than what they know. <laughs> right, exactly. Right. The content. <laughs> right. The so we're hoping that's helpful. Um, just um, an interesting social emotional learning update. We have um, eight teachers in the building who have gone to peer to peer training and peer to peer training in its pure sense was designed to support students with autism. Um, to make sure that they had um, good peer role models, that they were included, that um, students were aware of their needs and were helpful. But what we have um, learned over time is that that peer-to-peer -peer support is really important for all kids mm -hmm. and to help all kids be inclusive. And so I'm super excited that we have so many general ed teachers that have gone and um, want to implement that in the classroom, and that will probably be our board presentation next year. We've been taking some documentation about how that impacts students this year, so that's exciting. Um, I don't know if I said this last month, but Round Revolution is up and rolling. That's going great. Lego Club is coming soon. January. Yep, in January, and we should have our annual family literacy night in February. Last year, um, on the summer reading front, just so you know, we sent um, 10 to 20 books home with 80 different students last spring for the summer. Awesome. So we're hoping to expand that. We're excited. So. We have a lot of books that we can use. Yeah. It's a book drive. Awesome. Yeah. So the book drive will help us, right? Expand that. All right. Is that it? That's it. Okay. Trish. Well, I'm excited to finally have my first treasure report. <laughs> <laughs> I've been playing catch up, so I'm sorry about that. Um, since it is the first one, um, if anybody online or live is curious, um, it has our entire budget for the year on it. 
Um, and so each month it will show us what we've spent and what we've earned so far. Um, so just uh, looking at the copies that we do have, just the first note, um, there, is a, there is a negative 50 in our family nights already, and that's just their deposit to hold the DJ. We're preparing for that. Um, and then in fun run expenses, um, lots of people have been asking about the 25% to booster -thon. Um, and so I put on this sheet um, our 2018, what we, what we spent, our 25%, um, and our income is actually, or our proceeds are 27525 um, and to compare, I put uh, 2017 on there. Um, and our expenses were 25% as well. Um, so that was when we did it without boosters on, on our own. Um, we still spent 25% of what we brought in. And um, our proceeds were 12540 So we had doubled, more than doubled that, even with the 25%. And it's, it's hard to see that 25% go, does, but... Does that line where the 25%, does that include our other minimal miscellaneous <laughs> expenses? Yeah. I mean, it does include every expense. Percentage. Every expense okay. for um, fun run, so like the spirit sticks and everything. Okay. So, yeah, and I, I brought a breakdown of this year's expenses, the 9721 um, I brought a breakdown of that if anybody was curious, um, but that is our... our 25% to booster on and plus the 700 for um, t-shirts because we um, brought in half for that with sponsors. So um, yeah, I mean, it's just interesting to see. So we ended up spending 25% anyways when we did it on our own to, to make the program work. Um, and then looking farther down, um, I wanted to point out that on this, the report, this, the um, script cards is negative 1,000 right now, but that's just because that was that Thanksgiving order. And so the deposit for that has um, not cleared yet until December. And so we actually have made $43 on that. But our December script order... I think we made over a hundred dollars on that. It was um, probably the biggest one I've seen since oh. I've been a chair for that. So that's exciting. Um, Is there one more script order going in? No, I decided to just do one in December. Because last year, the second when I did two, the second one really didn't bring in any, and I wanted to make sure people had them in hand before right. we go on break. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but uh, I will do one at the end of the year and possibly one in the spring as well. Um, so, I mean, if anybody has any questions on this, um, we did uh, the yearbook cover contest, didn't quite make our $200 budget. <coughs> it was at $134. Um, other than that, that's the negative of not having sentences. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, good point. Yeah. Good point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we capitalized on that. Mm -hmm. um, the parents coming in, the evening traffic, and there wasn't as much traffic for that. Yeah. That's where we got a substantial amount. Same for a book year. fair. Did we take a hit on book fair? No, we actually did. We did really well on book fair. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Book like fair. Last year was seven hundred something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so and this year, um, I just wrote to check it's out. Eight, it's one hundred and twenty something. Okay. Is there a discount? Yeah, yeah. So it's like eight hundred twenty-eight yeah. so dollars. Oh, you know what? Eight twenty-four ninety-four. Yeah, that's what we made. Yeah, so that'll go to the library. So yeah, is it Mary who gets to order? She'll be able to order books for the library. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jill. So, um, any questions on the report from anybody? What's the on the? Um, is it the spirit or the spirit sticks? It's negative eight ninety four. That's the spirit sticks because uh, we are just generating sales. That's all we pre order all our sticks for the year pretty much. So, so that number will start eventually yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. break even eventually. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and that's that's really the design of that program is is to just make it pay for itself. Just to pay itself. So yeah. that we just keep going. We, we don't typically make a lot of money on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Thank you very much. Um, yearbook update, Reed. Okay. Um.
Um, so we put on Facebook, I do have a picture here uh, if you want to take a look at it. The winner was Claire Johnson. Um, I already sent in the pictures. So for any, I think anybody's been here in previous years. So that one goes as the front cover, and then the four alternates are on the back. So it's like a quarter page. So all of theirs will be in the back. And it was this picture. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. It was the eagle. That one was really, I like that one the best. Too. Yeah. It was the eagle head in the karate. Yeah. Which is Has creative. Sensei Sam seen it? Yeah, I, I showed it to him uh, okay, when he was here Super last. Cute. I said, "You have to see your lip cover." <laughs> you made the you like it. He loved it. He was very he excited. <laughs> <laughs> He's been really excited at um, how well when he comes back, our kids are able to talk about those games. Right. He said, "Well, how your teachers are really following up because your kids are talking the talk." Right? Mm -hmm. So. That's a good thing. Um, the yearbook <laughs> sale will be will start on January twenty second and go through uh, February eighth. Um, this year, there's going to be a little bit of restrictions on the happy ads because whoever ends up typing them is typing on average. I would say in the last three years has been about two hundred or so. So if they're typing up a whole page, you know, it just takes a lot of time. And well, I think and, and it's space too. That, yeah, it's space because say. we have more students this year. Yeah, and so potentially more happy ads. And the font is already minuscule. Like I, I can't read it without my glasses yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and even though we are going to add four pages to the yearbook this year, we want to use those pages for photos. We want to make sure that as many kids as possible can get their picture in the yearbook. So um, adding in those extra pages doesn't necessarily mean adding in extra happy ads. So we're just going to restrict the length of the happy ads so that it's so that we don't get huge blocks of of type in there. We need to keep them shorter, more concise. I keep mine pretty short for all four kids. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you're yeah. great. That way we can send <laughs> yeah, that's great right. job for students. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> See you at home. Pick up your laundry. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's your turn to make dinner. Where's the yard? I like with that. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas wish list, right? Yes. Um, yes. So yeah, I think that pretty much covers it. Um, but be, as Crystal was saying, because of the um, extra four pages, I think the yearbook's going to be a dollar, a dollar extra. So, so it's, so it's 15, fifteen instead of fourteen. Well, we're stepping out. We're really stepping out. Only you're going to notice that it's one dollar more this year. <laughs> but the happy ads will still be the same at three dollars. Yeah. Is that what we do? Yeah, three for three dollars. All right. Awesome. Thank you, Ray. Um, book fair recap. We already kind of talked about book fair. Um, Trish just wanted to thank all the volunteers again who helped out. Um, and she said that the fair had raised um, almost eight hundred twenty-five dollars, and this will go towards new books for the library that Mary will order, and they'll be probably she she orders. I don't know if if we see the books by the end of the year. Do we see them in the spring, Dottie? Do you know? Oh, when, the, when the new library books would come, I don't know when she orders if they end. She orders later and they come like she'll like order, next year. she'll probably order in February or or, or January. Mm -hmm. Um, and they should arrive, they're pretty quick, they should be here by the beginning of March. Oh, okay, good. and because she orders them through Follett, mm -hmm. they come already set up for our computer system. So the shelf, like getting them on the shelf time, is super fast, right? So once they're here, mm -hmm. they're on the shelf. All right, so that was book fair. Um, Diabetes Awareness Month and DD Drive. DD, can you talk about it? <laughs> well, um, we raised $250 for Beyond Type 1 and 250 DVDs, which was super cool. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, I was totally, like Ian, I was totally blown away by the amount of DVDs that were in the office. <laughs> like, holy cow. <laughs> it was funny because she gave me the boxes and she's like, well, I just kind of estimated and I'm like, well, I'll be at work. I'll count them and get a catalog. And I was like, there's 250. She thought there was only like 100. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, and then I just thank you, thank you, thank yeah. you so much. I know, like, my family is truly grateful for how generous the Brown family is and like I said in the I said in the Facebook post, like Chase and Chloe love coming in the office and seeing all the circles and just seeing all the personal messages that come across to them too. And some of them are so stinking cute and funny. 
And I, I say, I say boys, those, like, like, like pick diabetes is bad. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that was really heartfelt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, and I save them. I put them, not all of them, so yeah. there's a lot, but we pick a few of them and I save them for his memory book for Good. whatever. Yeah. So, thank you. Um, all right, so Stanishoff, um, Trish, um, who couldn't be here tonight, um, and Kim Griffin have been um, working their butts off and doing a great job. Um, it sounds like everything's going pretty smoothly so far. Um, we had to get them some more money for change, um, which, of course, then they hardly touched it today because oh. they didn't need it. But those are the things on the day. Yeah. Um, but um, one thing that's really cool is that the new Keep the Change option has already raised one hundred and seventy-five dollars wow. in two days for the two families that the round staff has adopted for the holidays. So that will be put towards purchasing gifts or gift cards for those two families. But already one hundred seventy-five bucks in two days. So yeah. well, might have also happened because this happened to me. I wrote a check and then I put that on there, and then my husband's like, "Oh, I gave you know this amount of money." So we literally gave like twice, twice. the amount. And I know normally because every year, and I you know here get that. And I will always get like ten dollars back, so I'm like, you might have gotten like thirty bucks. Right? <laughs> <laughs> awesome! <laughs> 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 it's probably like, happened, you know, other things. Like, <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> um, awesome. So, um, so that's going to get left again um, tomorrow's the last day to shop for her Santa shop. Um, and then fun run. We kind of wanted to talk about, Trish touched on the stats a little bit, um, looking back at last year's numbers versus this year's numbers. And then um, we've got some information from the, um, the survey that we sent out. So um, we just w wanted to get a discussion going, I think, to see if we can get any feedback. And maybe if there's anybody online, we'll get some feedback that comes in. Um, we need to make a decision, probably what, by the end of the month? Um, mm -hmm whether or not we're going to use Boosterthon again, how we want to do the fund run program next year. So um, we're looking for further input, but um, I don't know if you want to walk through any of it. I don't know. Well, just a uh, brief overview. Um, this is a cert. I, I kind of summarized the results from the survey that we had posted a link to. Um, we only got 36 people who responded, but um, you know, and most of it's pretty positive. Um, if, if anybody wants to see a copy of this, you can feel free to contact me. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm not going to go through it all. It's for your right. Because it, it includes but. the verbatim comments mm -hmm. as well as like the numbered responses or the ranked responses, you know, like, you know, from one to five, how would you rate this or whatever. And it's so. great feedback. It's really yeah. great feedback. There's a lot of positives. There's a lot of negatives too. Um, which we all we want to consider, and we want everybody's opinion. And yeah, kind of just what do you decision. think is the best comment? What are the worst things that you got out of it? Um, well, I think not to say the best and the worst, but like there was um, an overall response to um, the ability to pay online and the ease of that um, made it so much easier to reach more people, people that wouldn't you wouldn't have necessarily asked personally responded um but then that also mm -hmm. turned into the negative the online maybe there was too much push um too much communication things were confusing um but sometimes i see you know if we don't email and facebook and all that so it doesn't reach some people right some people see it all some people don't um so it's a it's it's hard um it's tough, yeah. it is yeah Definitely. Um, but yeah, like overall, that was the um, gist of it. The um, online was um, very much the 25% the came up a lot, um, which that is a lot. And that was a scary thing for us, too. Mm -hmm. But we, we decided to make a new, try something new. Um, and that's why we really want your feedback, too. And although um, it, was, it was an investment. It was an investment that paid off. Yeah. With this with this yeah. year. It was, you know, it was yeah, it's a lot of money and you hate to see it go away. Mm -hmm. But you would not have ever heard from us again. Right. I mean well, even, even before you guys 
you get you still had the 25 percent going out the time. so you can't yeah. calculate how much time is spent right. ordering the prizes figuring out the prizes counting yeah, the money. money i mean it's yeah. hours and hours yeah. of time in there, addition to the 25 percent right yeah. and, and that and it's the it's the program it's, it's really in my mind because even in previous years prior to 2017 and in, in the spirit of full disclosure we did not we did not invest 25% because, is that you? Yeah. <laughs> um, we, because we relied on the teachers for the entertainment for the assembly. We did all the work in-house. We purchased our own incentives. We managed the whole program, but there wasn't really a program in front of the kids' faces. There wasn't something incenting them every day in the classroom, bringing the teachers in, making it competitive, you know, doing all of those things, there wasn't really any of that in 2016, actually 2017 and before. Um, we, we were able to manage around $12,000, mm -hmm. you know, probably a little bit less in the earlier years. Mm -hmm. And it gradually went up in small increments. But 12.5 is probably going to be our max using that the gate system. The building too. It's mm -hmm. a whole extra set of True. families. True. Well, and, and we have more kids in the building in general, you mm -hmm. know, so... But you guys also got to go out and see your kids run and experience the actual fun run day with your kids. Absolutely. Which that, that is was a, a big fun. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> we got locked in the room for eight hours counting money. That was. Yeah. I don't know how you guys did it because I had so much fun that day. I know, right? there. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. 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 It was like the best fun run ever. We need more staffers. Um, yeah. 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 Seriously. Um, but anyway, so it, there's a lot to consider. And obviously, the bottom line isn't everything, but it's a big thing. And if we can make that much money for the school by doing a program like this, then I think it's definitely worth considering, which is why we're weighing all the options. We're looking at the information we have. We're glad we got 36 responses. We would have loved more. And maybe we can reshare that you did awesome. We love you. Um, <laughs> we'll share the link so that maybe maybe we'll get more responses after mm -hmm. people see this tonight. So, But if there's any comments, any further input, we'd love to hear it yeah. so we can make the best decision that we can make. I do want to say too, um, do you have a question on that? Okay. Um, there was an overall feeling to um, some people enjoyed the prizes and some people did not. Um, and we understand that it was unfair for some kids, but that's why we had the whole, the class incentives also. There were several ways that all the students could feel included and every student got a, a t-shirt this year. Every student got a uh, spirit stick. Um, so there were ways where we tried to incorporate everybody um, as well, but essentially the prizes drove the competition, which which is how it's always, always been. been. Yeah. It's just never been necessarily in your face because you know we're delivering prizes to classes every day with the boosterthon program. But even still, if kids didn't participate, they didn't even get a T-shirt in the in the format that we used before because you had to have twenty five dollars or fifty dollars fifty dollars in donations just to get a T-shirt. This time everybody got a t-shirt, so it, it all depends on your perspective, I guess, yeah. and what you what what prior experience you have too. Because I think I got the feeling from reading some of those that some of those comments came from newer families, mm -hmm. families yeah. that hadn't experienced yeah, that confusion. They before. don't really know what's going on too, and yeah. Well, it's always the first year, so you're, everybody's new to it, yeah. and they're new to everything at round. Right. So then you just add new on top of new. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of it. All right. So if there are any other questions, any further input, please send it our way. Um, you can contact Trish or me directly. You can comment on this video and know. Yeah, what it would just give us give us feedback so we can make a good decision, an educated decision. All right. Um, so family dance party. Um, Jennifer Marinelli, I need to still contact her. I've tried a couple of times. So um, if anybody knows Jennifer and can have her call me, that would be great. Um, otherwise, I'm going to try again um, probably tomorrow. She is our chair for the dance party, but we have already started plans for it. As Trish mentioned earlier, we have the DJ clocked up. Um, similar to last year, we want to do a glow in the dark theme, but it'll be under the stars. And Mariah and her husband will have some telescopes out back so they can look at the real stars outside. We'll have glow-in-the-dark stars on the inside. 
Um, we'll also have some high school volunteers, the National Honor Society. We've got a few, I think we asked for seven volunteers to help with the face painting, to help with um, the um, photo booth so that the props and all that, so that keeps moving and the line isn't quite so long. So, and then also because that night kicks off our book drive, we want at least one of those high schoolers packing books into boxes and hauling them to wherever Mrs. Rutherford needs them to go. So, so plans are underway. We've got the, the groundwork set. <coughs> we'll get Jennifer up to speed and hand everything over to her um, so she can hit the ground running. Is it the same DJ as last year? It is the same DJ. Is that a good thing, Jillian? <laughs> it is, there's like there's like a thirty second delay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. All right. Do you want to start with school, um, and then we'll come back if there's any other oh, questions on the night. Oh sure. Yeah. The um, online fundraiser feature. Um. Just the, it's the holiday season. Lots of new clothes. So just keep in mind if you're cleaning out those old clothes. Um, there's a bin in the front entrance for the school, um, labeled school, uh, it's a big yellow bin, and um, we can turn those clothes into um, a consignment place online, schoola.com, and uh, earn some uh, fundraising money for that. And we get money both for what we donate and what we purchase. Uh, true, yes. Yeah, we, we get 40% on the clothes, um, and then also every um, $5 spent, if you shop at schoola.com, every $5 spent, they give $2 back. So, yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, did anything else come back on the dates? She just said yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so the teacher cookie walk. Um, uh, I mentioned earlier, that's already, the sign up is going, Trish is getting all the plans in place, and then new this year, um, at the, at the district PTO meetings, the DPAC meetings, um, Cindy Kendrick, who is vice president of the school board, brought forward an idea that each building or entity, I guess you could say, because the school board is also going to do this, um, take, pick one month to choose a day to do something nice for the transportation department so you know all the bus drivers the handful of staff the um the mechanics you know all the, the everybody who works over in transportation just to do something nice for them so i signed us up to um to take december so we're bringing cookies over for them so in all the information that's going out about the cookie walk we're um we're asking for like an extra dozen so that we have some extra cookies put together a couple trays and bring them over to the transportation department and when i called over there the woman i spoke with was like giddy she was mm -hmm. so excited, and I said, and the, the best part about it is expect to call like this every month <laughs> to let you know when somebody's bringing something over, and she was so excited. So it's a good thing, I think, um, to do something for them, <clears throat> and then obviously to do something for our teachers as well. Um, so I kind of took that. And that's, then, really that's all right. Really I had Stacey's name next to that on there. That's right. You went to DPEC. <laughs> 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 that's what there used to be, and it kind of was a couple of years and then it fizzled out like an undesignated, unofficial bus driver appreciation day. It was like the end of January, like oh, the 29th or 30th. Do you remember that? Maybe it was just amongst the Heartland community. <laughs> like, I don't know. I well, I know that they do something about that. And it was right after we had that really awful year of snow day and it was just negative 25 and all those you know and it was like for two or three years in a row it was like january 29th or something it was kind of the unofficial and then it kind, it just of, kind of fizzled, fizzled out a little bit yeah i know we do a little something at the end of the year for the round bus drivers right and i think a lot of the schools do that but i don't know if anyone and i know does you know officially. some yeah. parents include them get, in their um, holiday oh and by camps. staff we have a staff meeting the last the 19th Right, we have a staff meeting, and I always have breakfast at that meeting, and I invite all the drivers so that they can be. So once the oh, kids get the off, morning. yeah, once the kids get off, they come in and have breakfast, which is kind of nice. Try to try to think of them Include because them. Yeah. They, they are job. fantastic. Yeah. And as a side note, the PTO does give we give them gift cards at the end of the year as well. We mm -hmm. have a budget for bus driver appreciation. Mm -hmm. 
Um, but anyway, so Stacy and I are going to run those cookie cakes over midday on uh, next Tuesday to make sure that they're there and in place for when the bus drivers come back for their afternoon class. So, so those will be really fun. Does anybody know if all those spots have been filled up for the cookies? Because last no. time I checked, there was like and, five or six spots. And we'll add more. One. Okay. One more. There's no end to that. Okay. <laughs> right now, it's awesome. Just get a bigger fan, right? I don't think I sign up, but the batch that I make, the recipe is, it comes up to five dozen, so I just yeah. make it. That's what I always do. Okay. I find the batch that makes the biggest in one <laughs> right. sitting. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah. You're like, can I just mix it and make it some? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we don't have a cafeteria I making figure, cookies. I don't have to sign up. I mean, they're not going to say, no, take those. I know. Exactly. <laughs> they're not going to say, no, no room. No room. Yeah. Sorry, Grace. Right? That's why I don't sign up because I want other people to think that they have to. That's <laughs> right. Leave the spot open. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> a little pressure game. All right. Mariah, ladies' night out. Can you share all the options that I have? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so here are the three that we've got in mind, and we'll get some feedback on them, at least preliminarily. Okay. So I have three different options that I was thinking of. I was thinking of um, movie night. I'm doing one at the Imagine Theater. I um, have called them, and they have an option. If we get enough ladies, we could also rent out a whole theater room. Um, but I would have to know how many people in that to be able to go and get a quote for that. Um and then the other, another option was um, bowling at the bowling alley here in Portland. And then the third option was um, comedy and dinner at Holly Hotel. So um, I can put up more details about those. <laughs> <laughs> the Holly Hotel one was more on the expensive side um, because they do a fancy dinner and um, it includes your soup and your salad, like, and then a choice from four different entrees, a private room, and then we get our own reserved spot down in the comedy club area. Um, and then it would be cash bar right, right there. So, um, and then the, the bowling alley would be, um, includes two games and your shoes and two slices of pizza. Um, that one's been tossed around for, right, we talked about it. Yep. Yeah. It never gets done. I know. I know. It's around here because it's in here. Yeah. So. But yes, we know that we've done some type of for other yeah. you know, craft yeah. something for so many years yeah. in a row. We've changed the venue up and we've right. changed the 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 actual product that you're making. We've changed that up, but um, we just figured we need to do something a little different this mm -hmm. week. So I thought, yeah, do less. <laughs> yeah, do less. Yeah. So I thought I'd yes. put it out there in a poll and see what people think and put the details in a poll, and I can always do it in a. A Google Doc so that if we can get it in the email, send an email blast yeah. too to get more feedback and see what all the moms want to do. Yeah. All right. So the last item on the agenda is DPAC, which is the district PTO meeting. And there's actually been two DPAC meetings since the last PTO meeting. So um, let me see what I can pull from here. Um, the one thing that Chuck um, talked about in both meetings was the, um, if you remember in October, he came here, gave a presentation. We did a, like a question and answer brainstorming <coughs> thing. Um, he's done that with every PTO, every school staff, every building staff. He's doing it with um, representatives from HIA, um, all the athletic coaches. He's hitting every, like senior center, every part of the Heartland community that he can reach is what he's trying to do. Um, it's all really part of an overall marketing plan to prepare the, the public for what is most likely coming. It sounds like there will be a, a request for a bond coming sometime in the near future. So it's, it's obviously better to educate the community so that they understand where the district is financially, all of that, because this will most likely be an impact to your family's bottom line. You know, the, the last, um, the last elections where we've asked for money for the district, um, it hasn't affected your bottom line unless you're a business owner or have a second home, you know, like the, the non-homestead or whatever. So this time it probably will affect you. Um, so, but he said some of the recurring themes from the brainstorming sessions were um, technology as like one of the top concerns. And that not just technology as far as like students having access to it for, um, for that type of education, um, like 3D printers and 
lab space for doing things, um, stuff like that, but also um, um, tech classes, like in the elementary school level, you know, in the elementary level, so that they are understanding the technology so that they can use it later kind of thing. Um, and also world languages that you talked about in the um, elementary level. Um, and the other item, which is, it, it, I'm not familiar with the concept, but I want to learn more about it, is like these collaboration or STEM centers. And I guess Brighton has recent, just recently passed a bond um, so that the libraries are going to somehow change into these collaboration centers with lab space and 3D printers and things like that. So something like that is, is a concern for our, our community as well. Um, and if you look in the January community life, he's in the superintendent's corner, he's going to have a, um, his, his spiel is going to include a lot of information about this potential bond, all the information he's trying to gather from the community, all of that. Um, so let's see. He, um, at the meeting in November, he um, invited Matt Marino, who is head of transportation for the district, to come in and talk. Um, some of the highlights from what he talked about, um, the transportation budget is $3.2 million out of our budget, um, our whole district budget every year, which is pretty substantial. Um, the buses, um, as you know, are expensive. They get cycled out every nine to 10 years, and we get about 17,000 when we sell them when they're that old, but they cost 92,000 to purchase. We're actually gonna be buying seven of them this year. The board just approved that last month. So that's, um, that's always a huge hit. Um, they rebuild their routes every year. There's a lot of questions in the room about specific you know, route concerns, you know, like where, why is my bus stop here? Why does the bus go this way? Why does it take this long? A lot of real specific questions and Matt tried to address a lot of that, but they do rebuild the routes every year. They use some type of um, a system, like an online system. I don't know exactly how it works, but, um, but then they, there's a human interface as well. You know, it's like they let the system spit it out and they're like, yeah, that's not gonna work because of whatever, because you know, the drivers know the routes or know the road. So um, there's 620,000 miles of travel last year with all the buses combined. Um, 4,500 kids and 600 bus stops. Um, we figure each one of those stops was hit, was hit twice every day or every single day. It's crazy when you think of the big numbers. Um, he said there are about 10 students that ride about an hour and 15 minutes. But it's, yeah. Um, but it's usually one way. So like if that's in the morning, then they're first off in the afternoon. So they, they try to mix that up. Um, we currently have 42 routes this year. Last year there were 43, 3,200 miles a day. Bus capacity, um, depending on where the bus goes, um, like who the students are on the bus, they, they vary the capacity. So if there's, if it's um, high school students in Ore Creek, then they'll only, they'll max out a bus at 55 or 60 students. So that obviously affects the routes too, you know, to know how many stops that bus can make before they get full and head back to the school. Um, let's see, and some buses, I didn't know this, um, some buses actually pick up school of choice kids and they're designated mm. stops. Like at Venture Church, they have a stop that's just for school of choice kids. And, they, mm. they, and the church is nice enough to let people, and to let our buses come in and pick them up. Um, one big thing, one big piece of discussion that came out was if you miss the bus, you are to call transportation and they will contact the driver. You're not to chase the bus. Because if you pull up behind them <laughs> and you have to pull up behind them and then have the kid run up the side because it's a visibility thing yeah. and they can't see. So they said that the dispatcher all would have the bus pull over so you can pull ahead yeah, so you can pass and then the kids can get out and then walk back to the bus. And the, the phone number for transportation, if you want to put it out there, is 810-626-2175. And that's what they urge you to do. What was the recommendation? To call transportation. So if you miss the bus, call transportation. They'll contact the driver and have the bus pull over where it's safe so that you can pass oh, the bus. The and then they can, yeah, exactly. They'll stop the bus wherever they need to, or they'll tell you where the next stop is, and then you can pull ahead at the next stop. Um, they also asked about a delayed start because some districts will do that, but Heartland chooses not to. We have a policy in place. There's a there's a procedure, but um, typically our administration does not choose to use a delayed start. And part of that is the inconvenience factor. It's like, okay, so you leave your kids at home to get on the bus, but then they don't make it on the bus. Now they're at home alone all 
day or, you know, all of those kind of things. It's a lot of issues that, um, that they choose to avoid. Um, let's see. We talked about the cameras, um, that there's a sidearm camera. It's an HD camera and it can get license plates for cars who pass when the flashers are on. So Good. beware, they can find you. Um, and then the yellow flashers are meant as caution that the bus is going to stop. You don't have to stop at the yellow, but you should. Mm -hmm. And then the red, obviously, the red activates when the door opens and you should never go by a bus with the red flashers. Um, and then if you have any specific questions about your own stop, if there's any personal questions, they say to call transportation for those issues as well. Um, let's see, we talked about bus driver appreciation. Um, and then the meeting this week, um, which actually was just yesterday, um, Scott Bacon came in and talked a lot about finance, which was a lot of, it was a little more detail behind the presentation that Chuck Hughes did when he came here in October. So it was a lot of the background detail, about a lot of what he does, what he and Rachel Boyce do. Um, in the finance department. So obviously if you have questions about that stuff, they are always open to, to receiving questions. You can contact them, you can find them their um, email or phone number on the website, on the HCS website. Um, talked about the recurring themes that Chuck mentioned. And that was it. So that's it, two, two months of detail. <laughs> All right, I think, I think that's everything. Does anybody have anything else? Anything else? All right, motion to adjourn. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.